Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. That strike blocked by Sean O'Malley. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, you're gonna shut your body off. Man, oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. Oh, big left hook there. That one was starting to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by O'Malley. The elbow is blocked. Oh. Ooh. Oh, big right hand. Oh. Oh, straight right. He's, he's limping now. He continues to mix it up down to the head, mixing in some body shots. Left hand punch to the play. Nice kick landed there by Sean O'Malley. Just misses with the jab there. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. So nicely done with the trip there. So he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. <laughs> 45 seconds to go here in round one. All right, has the guard closed here. Oh, O'Malley gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Big punch man over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up. Oh, we got a fight to end the round one. together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Liver kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. What a punch. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Nice one, two there. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Well, now these strikes are really strong. You see on that punch right there, his opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the end. This is a great fight. Lit up right 
right now, John. Big elbow there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Right hand landed. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Gotta think his opponent's gonna feel that one in a moment. And he's gonna continue to threat strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of Nice. over the top. Lands a big elbow there. Oh! Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, nice knee to the body. Strong to quite strong there. It's effective the straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and it's got to hurt very bad. Side control now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, that's a flush elbow from the bottom. Well played. He goes upstairs for an elbow. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots to the top. Oh, nasty elbows now, DC. Hard to see if a cut's been opened up, but got to think at some point there's going to be some work. you got to be so close to fight and throw this many elbows back to back. Great job. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Elbow landed now from the bottom by O'Malley. Gets the elbow up into the target. Well, you know, I don't like the key very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves. Oh, he just digs his body. He shot with every part of himself, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying. Oh, useful trick right there to get the takedown out of the clinch. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys can start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Sean O'Malley. So a close fight goes the distance here tonight, DC. I know you're not a judge, but any lean to one fighter or the other? I mean, when I watched the fight, I believe that he did enough. But when these fights are this close, it's razor, razor thin. You don't know what the judges are seeing. I think he did enough. I think it was the striking advantage that he showed that should get him the victory. But we shall see. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' score cards for a decision. For the winner, by split decision, Sugar Sean O'Malley! Well, congratulations to him there, and I think 
five years from now, they'll forget that it was a split and not a unanimous decision, but that was a close fight. I mean, that was a very close fight, and that's the most uncomfortable decision in the world, to walk to the center and not knowing if you did enough to get the job done. Fortunately... All right, coming up next, it's a Bantamweight matchup between Sugar Sean O'Malley and Jose Aldo. Ready? You ready to fight? All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. And we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Outstanding need the body there. He's the taller fighter. And he might as well put that size to good use. And he certainly did so, though. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Oh, effective strike there by Sean O'Malley. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to throw it. That was the right time. Right hook to the head block. Oh, nice elbow. Oh, just opening up on him now. He lands with the knee to the bottom. Oh, and he caught the kick. Three minutes to go. Big punch lands through the middle. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily win. Aldo's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think he can. Back with that off with DC, he is hurt. What a He's out! He's done! He's done! What a performance! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched Glenn. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 36 seconds of the very first round. 